All right, we're finally going to watch Inside Star Citizen Vulture Venture. Everyone on Discord was mad because I was on Discord when they were discussing it, and they didn't want me to be spoiled. So, uh, okay, here we go. Let's turn the that widget off. And Inside Star Citizen Vulture Venture. Here we go. The salvage feature is really trying to cater to people who want the diversity and exploration type gameplay. See, like, right away, exploration type gameplay is uh, an interesting way of saying it. You might find debris fields of a long lost battle or on your discovery tour, you find a destroyed ship. I think their definition of exploration is very I'm different. I'm excited about players playing this and salvaging wrecks of ships in the PU. Oh my, hold on. I have to find this. Um, oh no, it's going to take me a minute. There is this... There is this exact image of a prospector mining a rock in an ISC like six months ago. It looks exactly the same. Watching wrecks of ships in the PU. So right now when you destroy a ship, that's kind of it. So that's where that's where salvage comes in, where we sort of extend the life of the spaceship. We want you to be able to find destroyed versions of these look at them in, in ways you would never have seen them before and have this extra gameplay with them. Okay. There are different aspects of Savage that we want to introduce to the game. And the very first one that we will have is the hull scraping. Which All right, so that's implying, again, there, we would like to do more, but this is what we got so far. Which is where you blast off the uh, external surface of the ship uh, and sell that material for profit. Hull stripping right now is split into two parts. We have the FPS side and you have the, the vehicle side. Okay. So in vehicle hull scraping, uh, this will be for the Vulture and the Reclaimer, where you take your great big salvage lasers and you take off as much of the material as you can. Uh, for the Vulture, it's very easy. You are the only person. It's the lone wolf wolf ship. You can go out, explore, find find wrecks just by yourself. Uh, best catering to the smaller types of wrecks you would find. In the Vulture, you activate the, the salvage mode, which uh, then allows you to use the scraper beams to operate them over the surface area of the ship okay. and gather the material. Like, again, I think people putting the weight on this like it is like it is all that salvage would be is going to be the biggest problem. N and that is why every time people mention this, I said, this is not salvage. It is a part of salvage. Because what, like, what do you really expect to have happen here? Uh, like, my my true expectation for salvage would be more like I don't expect this to be an MMORPG exactly, but I kind of do expect this sort of um mechanic to be a thing. Is you go to a certain planet or moon in a certain star system to fight certain types of enemies, right? Let's say let's just use Stanton because it's a, a an example that people would understand. I go to Stanton and I go around Grimhex to fight the Nine Tails. The Nine Tails use a certain type of, uh, uh, let's say, weapon or component in their ship, and it's specialized just to them. They've tweaked it. It's a you know a, an upgraded version of something. You kill them. Their ship explodes. It turns into a salvageable wreck. You use this type of salvage to strip it if you want, and then you also go in and extract those components. And then at the end, you crush up the rest if you wanted to, right? That's the that's kind of like my mentality around this is there's there's so much more to it. And for me, the one that I think matters, the one that is the driving force behind salvaging and the, and the reason to play the game would be to, 
you know, upgrade your ship or ships or friends ships or orgs ships by interacting with salvage in that way. But yeah, I still don't see the point until then, personally. For the reclaimer, we highly recommend you to, to come in a group. You want probably at least two people to man the salvage lasers uh, and a few people in the back of the cargo bay to help. Yeah, and yeah, until we get uh, every guide for salvage is going to be some nerd uh, soloing a reclaimer. If you stash away uh, your earnings, you'll go out, you'll find a wreck, turn on the great big front lights of the reclaimer so you can see what you're doing, and the two people in the salvage turrets will start blasting away at the hull to strip it off. As that happens, you're gathering uh, what we call RMC, recycled material composite material. Okay which gets put into cargo boxes in the filler stations that are Hell in the yeah. back of the reclaimer. And you'll need someone back there to take these full crates out of the <laughs> dispenser and stack them away on your cargo grid. And once you have your cargo hold full, you... In, in the end, the exciting thing there is seeing that it's physical. Uh, so at least we know that one bit of cargo is physical. The only issue that I'm hearing, and I want to hear it again, because I was kind of focused on the dropping down the chute thing there. Um, back of the see. reclaimer. And you'll need someone back there to take these full crates out of the dispenser and stack them away on your cargo grid. And once you have your cargo hold full, you fly to the station where you then can sell the commodity. And that's all you do is you just sell. This is mining. This is mining. This is mining, and it doesn't even have refinery, refining to it, right? They called it, uh, what is it, recycled composite something material? Are they going to show us what it sells for? The FPS nope. loop, in, in comparison, is much simpler. You just buy a Grey Cat multi-tool. You make sure that you buy the... All right, I'm going to pause here. So he said it's much simpler. Um this is so this is the this is the moment for me. This is and I want to I want to explain to you how important this is to the Star Citizen community. This is the first element of the actor feature team, the first team that moved to Squadron 42. This is the first time that they a team moved to Squadron 42, and this is the first thing that they worked on that is coming back to Star Citizen at not a Tier 0 state. This, from all the things that Richard Tyrer said, this is the first thing that we get from that team that is the first team that moved over to Squadron 42 that said that we would get things in a better state. Okay? So let's see how this is. I have not seen it yet. Salvage attachment. You make sure that the salvage attachment is actually attached to the Grey Cat multi tool. And this is the moment where you can scrape off any material that is salvageable right away. We also want to allow you to okay. use that material that you gain from hull scraping to immediately repair any damage your ship might have taken. This is really useful for people who are out. Any damage. I assume it would be any damage, too. Dogfighting, perhaps. You shoot down your opponent, go out with your multi-tool, take the hull off their ship, and put it back on yours to repair the damage. You will see where on your own ship you have repaired. So you're kind of getting this battle scarring of your ship. So right now, both the FPS and ship hull scraping has progressed very nicely but there's still a long ways to go with regards to selling the material we've got a lot of vfx and audio tweaks to do along the way we want to fully refine the user experience i'm really excited to see this feature hit the verse uh, i think it'll be yeah great to, to watch everyone taking people's ships apart and yeah it'll be be a lot of fun i i'm still at the the stage of I really still feel this is going to be very much like um like 
I guess refueling and and I feel like it's it's because refueling has a very cool mechanic. It really does. But the it it doesn't have the use cases for it in the game yet. I, they've all talked about pyro being where it would be useful, but I'm I just don't see the um I'm I'm not sure I, if I'm seeing the use case for it yet because what do you do with the material and all sorts of things like that? And they did say like searching for wrecks. Is it going to be like searching for wrecks, like mining, or there's going to be random wrecks around? Is it going to be missions? So we don't know a whole lot on enough about salvage yet. And it'll be interesting to get into the PTU for the first time and, and check it out, I guess. Hole scraping isn't just the first version of salvage gameplay coming to Star Citizen. It's the feature necessary to finally bring the upcoming Drake Vulture to the persistent universe. Let's check it out now oh, okay. and see what it looks like very close to its final form. No, it literally just is the first feature of uh, If you really salad. want to try something different, something new, something that hasn't been in Star Citizen before, the Vulture is going to be where you want to go. Salvage is new and it's kind of fun and it's exciting. Jared looks so I've much been better. Going yeah. around and just burning the sides of ships and it's really fun to kind of experience this new type of gameplay. The Vulture is a single-seater salvage ship uh, meant for a single player to kind of get into the salvage career. Basically, um, extracting and processing, you know, things that you find out in the verse, uh, be it space debris or, you know, uh, He's so cool. junk or anything like that. On a profession ship, I'm mostly just setting it up as a ship to be flown and making sure all of the components are there. All of the functionality for all of the other interactables are there. Make sure that it can get cargo. Okay. There's also the aspect of setting up all of the things that the salvage work is going to be done with. So, I mean, uh, you know, we took our styling cues from previous Drake ships and uh, Drake has a very distinctive style. The first thing that will be very distinct that when you uh, see it at first will be these two arms that sort of jettison out at the front. That don't do what we had to set up these little they originally kind of were doing. That would be used Which makes to me articulate sad. while the oh, salvaging is happening. They have a name of the scraper, but it probably just stays. There's modules on it. There's two different scraper names. You could change the diameter, speed, efficiency, distance to target. I don't know. It seems pretty basic. I mean, there are two ways to enter. One it from seems like the less side, complicated than the mining. Ladder, and then you can access the cockpit. Much like a combine wood or a construction vehicle has a basic looking style ladder, which kind of adds to the whole look of the construction vibe and everything. And and also, like, it helps with a sense of scale in the ship, I think. Or you can go through the back with a ramp, and then you'll access the cargo hold. Oh, sick. Dude, You, I think you can fit an, an ROC on there. From the cargo hold, you can go through a door and then climb up a ladder, and then you'll have, like, a personal kind of storage area. All throughout the ship so on the inside, there's going to be a lot of component access. It looks like you can fit an ROC. And then to your right, and you walk in through, uh, through another door, and then there's the habitation area. There'll be like a small bed. I love a it. toilet. And then behind you, you got the whole body of the ship and, you know, the cargo and all that, the whole processing area. Persistent Universe gameplay, a lot of it relies on, you know, sort of trading things and salvaging things, right? So you can uh, earn credits. Uh, so this will be a very good tool to to do just that. And the thing, like, I like what they did with the hull scraping where you repair your ships also. But in reality, like, hull scraping literally is just to make credits. It's the, the other side of salvage that comes later that's, like, the things that you can use. So I'm okay with it being what it is. I So what did we learn? Before we find out what we learned this week, I, I feel like just saying that it is what it is. I don't think it could be anything more than that right now. And yeah, I guess until they put some sort of crafting in, which they sort of did, I guess for the first time, you know, repairing your ship 
building, you know, making this material is kind of crafting in a way because you grab something, your ship processed it, and you turned it into something that's more useful. Technically, very, very technically, this is the first kind of salvage or first kind of repair, but yeah. Um, I, yeah, I just don't expect it to be anything more than something you just sell because the later versions would be the stuff that you actually use. But at, at the same time, I, I just don't see it being used that much. It's, it, I'm really interested in seeing what happens. I really hope I'm wrong. Learn this week. Well, we learned that hull scraping is the exciting beginning of our salvage gameplay journey. The next step in bringing purpose and intention to the enormous reclaimer, the nascent yeah. development of handheld repair gameplay, and the feature that finally allows us to bring the Drake Vulture to the persistent universe. <clears throat> now remember that Talk Like a Pirate celebration begins today, and there's all kinds of things to do. Uh, pirate Swarm is back. There's a screenshot contest. The Siege of Ors and be returning with new fixes that we'll be talking about next week. There's new paints in the shop. And this isn't so much talk like a pirate as it is talk like Robert Newton in the 1950s classic Treasure Island. And, and I, 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 I think I, he did I this really last stop. year. Uh, for Inside Star Citizen, I'm Jared Huckabee. We'll see you all next week. Is that a green screen or a real screen? That's definitely a and real screen. And there's all kinds of things to do in the Pirate Swarm. The Pirate Swarm is back. So look at me. This is somebody's laughing at him. That's actually funny. Trying to do the pirate voice. Yay. <laughs> Yar. That was actually funny. I'm sorry. <laughs> don't look at me. <laughs> That's good. Um, yeah, I don't know, guys. The it, it it about we what did we learn this week? Nothing new about salvage, I would say. Right? I think it's uh basically what we all expected it to be. And um, nothing new really about the Vulture. We've seen it a bunch of times. I think we're all just excited to give it a try. Uh, the only thing that I'm a little confused by is are Rex just speckled out there? Or are we given missions or what? How do we find them? That's uh, basically my only kind of question. And then the next step is uh, how do we have to change, I guess, uh, scanning? So you can scan for certain things like, okay, I'm scanning just for wrecks today, or I'm scanning for mineables, or I'm scanning for ships that, uh, for combat, right? So I guess you have to make your own wrecks, but then who does, you know, the salvaging? So that's the part that I'm a little confused by, but hey, looks interesting, about fits my expectations. And uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think.